too early for this. I'm so tired. <laughs> set so many because I was afraid I wasn't gonna wake up and I'm a heavy sleeper so I had set like six different <laughs> I just turned them all off I did some makeup mostly concealer though because my dark circles mm -mm. I was looking a bit rough so now we look better <laughs> we have to leave in like 20 minutes so I need to pick out an outfit and get dressed get my running shoes and head out the door yeah, and it's six right now <laughs> and I'm 30 minutes away I have to get there before seven to get all of my like information and like my bib and stuff my t-shirt what's the temperature like outside 70 degrees outside so you, but no, we're scratching this. <laughs> this is the outfit we're going with. We're going all black. So this black long sleeve is from TJ Maxx, I believe. And then these shorts are from DSG. Now I need to put on my shoes. I don't know what to do with my hair. We can do either like a slick back or a high pony. Okay, I decided on a slick back. It is what it is. It's currently 6.39, so I made pretty good time. I just had to be there before 7 to like get my packet with like my shirt and my bib and stuff. I was worried I was gonna be late, but I made some pretty good time. <laughs> it's because I took the highway. We're like four minutes away and I'm like nervous. Ah! We made it. Oh my gosh. I think that's the start. Oh my gosh. Look how pretty. First off, look at the sky. That is so pretty. I picked up my packet, so let me give you guys a haul of what I got. Dermatology and Skin Cancer Center. Oh, I got my t-shirt. Look how cute. Here's the bag, all the sponsors. This is my old work right here. They're like the major sponsor, I think. Whoa. I got myself a baseball. I told myself I wouldn't like anything baseball anymore, so. <laughs> it's kind of cool. It has a bunch of like baseball teams on it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I got some Cetaphil. Guys, that is major. I got a shave oil sample. Nice. There's my bib. I'm 432. It's official, but I just wanted to come back to my cars to put this in there and just talk to you guys because I really haven't gave like a introduction of like what's going on. I think you know by the title of the video but I'm running a 5k. So this is going to be my third ever 5k. The last one that I ran was back in January so it's been a hot minute. Kind of funny story of how we're here. So my old boss texted me like two days before today and she was like are you running? Like you should totally sign up. And I was like honestly I was thinking about it because I have done this race before. If you guys go back a year today I filmed my first ever 5k and that was here at the Brave Stadium. So it's like my one-year anniversary So I have done this 5k before it's my second time I didn't end up signing up for it until my old boss texted me and I was like, okay Like this is my sign literally registered myself the night before so yeah, we're living in the spur of the moment So yeah, I feel like today is gonna go really well So when I ran in January my time was like 36 minutes I believe which is my best and I really want to get below 36 minutes it can be by like 40 seconds a minute two minutes i don't really care i just want to beat that score it's currently 6 55 and the race starts at 7 30 so i will see you guys at the start line got the bib on guys <laughs> currently taking a break. I'm walking. We're 1.7 miles in, 21 minutes. So I feel like that's pretty good. I'm walking again, only to film, I promise, but it's a nice break. We're almost to the water station. So we finished mile two, last stretch. We're at 27 minutes. So I feel like that's doable to beat before 36 minutes. So we'll see, but let's get some water. Five minutes to beat my time. I don't think it's gonna happen, guys. I think I have 0.5 of a mile left. I'm dying. <laughs> There's a jumbo screen, guys. <laughs> Good job, ladies. Second place, Miss Emma. 
We finished guys. Just got back to my car. I just completed my third ever 5K and I feel so good. I think the most important thing when doing a race, for me at least, is just crossing the finish line. No matter the time, if you're walking, if you're running, sprinting, whatever it might be, as long as you cross the finish line, like that's just the biggest accomplishment. I stayed for awards and I think they just finished up. But when they did my age group <laughs> and she called my name for second place, I was like, no way. When I did my first ever 5K, a year ago today, I also got second place, which is so funny. It's like deja vu. Every time you do a race, you do get a medal. So this is a medal that I got. It's actually really nice. Not that the time matters. I did do it in like 40 minutes. I know I said I wanted to get like under 36 because that was my second 5K time. I still ran 3.1 miles. It doesn't matter if I did it in 30 minutes, an hour, 52 minutes. I still crossed the finish line. So that's all that matters. But I feel really good. And that was so much fun. And I didn't realize how much I miss like doing doing races so hopefully more to come on that note though it is 9 14 and i'm tired i'm sweaty and gross but i'm really hungry so i think i'm gonna go get some coffee and maybe some food so <laughs> i will see you guys at the coffee shop <laughs> Also got a turkey sausage bagel. <laughs> Sorry if it's windy. I don't know if you guys can see behind me, but like right there, the tiny little people, they're doing yoga. I totally need to come here and do yoga. This town was just recently developed and it's so cute. And the funny thing is we used to live over here until we moved to our new house and our neighborhood was right in front of this town that was developed, which is so sad. Overall, both of these were really good. So I think I'm gonna come back. I could sit out here for hours, but I have other things I need to get done today. These are some permanent food trucks that they have. They're really cute. They don't move, but they are food trucks, which is really cool. Look how cute this robe is. I'm obsessed to say the least. I thrifted this like months ago. It's so cute. It feels so much better now and clean. Like that's the best feeling ever, especially after an everything shower. Video clips are importing. I have a video to edit this morning, but it's probably gonna take like 30 minutes or so because there's a lot of clips to fully import. I can't like fully edit until they're all imported. So we're gonna clean my room in the meantime. My shoes got so dirty today. <laughs> We need to put this away. On my family channel, we deep cleaned my entire closet, me and my mom. <laughs> and I found my ukulele. I knew where it was, it was in my closet, but I got this like during Christmas, like three years ago, maybe four. Actually, no, I've had this for like five years. No, seven. I had this at our first house in Florida and that was back in 2017. So I've had this for a minute. Do I know how to play a song? No, but have I tried? Yes. I think the first song that I tried to learn was Riptide by Vance Joy. But then I also tried to learn, um, oh, I don't know mommy by grace. I did not succeed. Maybe we could learn how to play the ukulele. I just finished editing and I uploaded it to YouTube so I don't have to worry about it. But now it's time to do my laundry. I believe my mom was doing the load, so we need to switch this to the dryer. making a to-do list for today but mostly for what I need to get done within like this upcoming week. I have a lot of things that I need to prepare for because I'm going to be gone for a couple of days so I just need to situate life before I leave. <laughs>
all done. That is my complete morning. I feel like it was pretty good. I had a great morning, especially waking up so early and just getting a lot of things done before the afternoon. After this, I'm gonna get dressed and do my makeup and I'm basically ready for the day. Once my laundry is finished, I will put that away, but it's gonna take like a couple of hours because I have two more loads after the one that's already in. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. A lot of you guys were asking if I was going to be doing Vlogmas this year and and I am not. Even though I'm not doing Vlogmas, I'm still posting Saturday and Sundays and I threw in Wednesdays for you guys. So I'm posting every Wednesday this month, which is exciting. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see y'all very soon back with more videos. Bye guys. Mwah.